Hey there guys, uh, we got the Scorn of Igon trial on Global, which means the next Scorn trial to be released is the Iron Giant. I haven't done the Iron Giant trial in like 8 months since it came out in the Japanese server, and I haven't done it since. I kind of forgot it mostly, so I'm going to be going back and refreshing my memory on the trial, and maybe previewing it for the rest of you. So we're going to be using Warrior of Light for evasion covering. Uh, now the boss does ignore evasion with quite a few attacks, so he does need some good defense. But he's got 100% evasion and pretty good defense in spirit. We're going to use Fina for healing because I still haven't pulled another, a different healer on the JP server. We're going to use Charlotte for buffing mitigation, also covering some of the magic attacks. We're using two cover tanks for this. Uh, and she's got passive provoke as well. We're going to use Riku for my breaker. On global, you can use Kryla, you know, and instead of Warrior of Light, you can use Sea Guard on the global server. And we're going to use CG Dark Fina. Um, I'm probably going to use CG Terra on the global server, or Magitech Warrior Terra. And they're about the same damage, relatively, close enough. But I don't have Terra on the JP server. So we're grabbing a friend, CG Fina, same thing. He's geared. Um, looks like he's geared for a trial that uses that. I'm not sure what trial he's geared for. But whatever, Keese's Terra is really well geared. It doesn't have any killers for human, but it's fine. Alright, so like I said, I have mostly forgotten this trial, and I didn't really refresh my memory other than the skills he uses. So I do know he does the Mighty Guard on Ambush. That's kind of whatever. Um, I could dispel that. I think I will dispel that. Now, it, this is like the Shinrayu trial. You can't dispel the first layer, only the second. Alright, so next turn that'll be gone. Uh, let's go ahead and break and mirage with Riku. If you've got Locke on the global server, Locke can do that as well. And we'll be doing... I guess we'll chain Dark. It doesn't matter. The boss is uh, the same resistance to all elements. You can use whatever element you want. Alright, so the boss will be eventually buffing himself and using stop. So we're going to be doing stop immunity with Riku on Lakshini. Now if you've got like, you know, Folka or something like that, or uh, Lena, that's a really good choice. I don't have them, so I have to use Lakshini for my stop immunities. Let's go ahead and stop immunity. Now we can do some good damage with Fina. Well, eventually. She's got to stack up. And remember, the friend is not using uh, any killers here that will hurt our damage a little bit. Now you'll notice the boss can be blinded. That's the only side effect you can do on the boss, and all breaks work. But blind does work, and that'll help some of the attacks that ignore evasion. They can still miss with blind. Alright, uh, we didn't quite get Charlotte's limit, so we'll go ahead and fill her up. We can get Charlotte's limit, limit going. Uh, and we'll use Physical Mitigation with Warrior of Light. Because some of the attacks do ignore cover, but they're still physical type. Now you can use uh, Pod 153 if you don't have like Warrior of Light. And obviously we're probably not going to have... Actually, we might get Warrior of Light before this trial, because Warrior of Light is due next for the next like CG unit. It's Warrior of Light. So we might get him in two weeks for the 1st of um, December. Maybe, you know, you never know. Alright, let's go ahead and change some more. I don't remember what his thresholds are. I think they're like 80%. We probably pushed one just now. Uh, we'll just refresh breaks and do a Mirage. Warrior of Light will... Uh, actually, Warrior of Light will refresh his physical cover. We'll do some magical mitigation with Charlotte. And Fina will just refill um, Charlotte's limit again, because the boss will be dispelling us eventually. Alright, this meteor is probably a threshold meteor. That's not too bad. Alright, he buffed himself. That was the Mighty Garn buff. Okay. And I think he dispelled us. He did. Okay, so he dispelled us. Uh, when he dispels us, that means the next turn is going to be a stop. Um. 
So I guess what I want to do... Mitigation... And physical cover. We need stop immunity. That's gotta happen. So let's stop immunity. So I can't break the boss's turn. So I can't I can't dispel his boss and break him. Because he's gonna I had to use stop with Riku. Alright, so we'll rebuff our stats and I guess a shining cheer for the heal. Well, yeah, let's do a shining cheer for the heal. And we'll just keep chaining the dark Venus. Alright, there's the stop, but we're immune. It's also a mana drain. I forgot to mention, you, you do want a way to regenerate your mana on this fight. I'll take care of that with Fina in just a second. Alright. Uh, how's our cooldown looking? Two turns? How about our quad cast? We have one, one more turn of quad cast. Alright, I don't want to lose our imperil, so... Well... We have to anyway. Okay, yeah, so what we're going to do here... We're going to go ahead and dispel the boss's breaks... Or the boss's buff with Charlotte. Then we'll break him again with Riku. So I guess Fina is going to do a mana regen. And we don't really need healing, so we'll do a... Actually, we'll do a Shining Cheer for, for Limit Fill. Let's do a Mana Regen and a Shining Cheer. Warrior of Light will do a Mitigation. And we got to Imperil the boss, we dispel him. So we'll Imperil Dark and then just Chain. And the friend can just Chain four times. Alright, but I think the next threshold is at 60%. There's a meteor, but it's fine. You can cover the meteor if you're not covering physical, but, uh, you know, I, th I think covering physical is more important on this guy. Alright, let's do a stop resist again. Um, I think our quad cast is now gone with Fina. This is the problem with Dark Fina, is she's got this, like, weird turn of one round where you can't really do anything with her. I mean, I could just... You know, it's better to... I think it's better to just use a triple cast and not bother with her limit burst. I'm not entirely sure. This is how, this is how I usually do it. Uh, the boss is imperiled. He's broken. He's not buffed. Let's go ahead and do this. We use our cooldown next turn. Warrior of Light, we'll just cover Charlotte. How's your mitigation looking? Two turns. We'll leave you we'll leave you be for now. Buff magic mitigation and Fina will do a We're gonna do a double mana regen because my Fina is not wearing enough mana regen and <laughs> she's running out of mana real quick. Alright, so that's a threshold we probably push, that meteor. But as long as your team has good spirit, it's not too big a deal. Alright, he buffed himself. Uh, did, he just, did he dispel us? I think he did. Oh no, we're not dispelled. Uh, okay, so he buffed himself. That's gotta be... That's gotta be gotten rid of. But we're not dispelled. So we can... Rebuff everything. How's your cover warrior? If, like, three turns, you're fine. Let's do a barrier. With Warrior of Light, he's going to burst. 3,000 point barrier. Um, I need to dispel the boss. So Fina's got to do that. Let's go ahead and dispel, and we'll just heal the team. Alright, so because we dispel, we got to break him again. Uh, by good breaks on cooldowns, so we'll just do a regular break. And um, I think Mirage is more important than, well... Hmm... No, I'm gonna I'm gonna break his spirit instead of Mirage. It should be fine. Maybe we'll see. And let's uh, put our cooldown back up. It gives four turns of quad cast to Darkina. It also applies a nice imperil and a magic buff. 
All right, so this turn is going to be an attack that ignores cover. It's a fixed attack. It's going to hurt pretty bad. But it should, we, we, should, we should live. I think. All right, it's going to come at the end of the turn. And there. Oh, yeah. Oh, and apparently it can be dodged. We actually mirage. That, that did, like, no damage. We're totally fine. Um, let's do stop immunity. Safina, do a mana regen and a shining cheer. Warrior of Light, we do a physical mitigation. Like, this fight is overall not too hard, as you can see. As long as you've got good survival stats. Well, to be fair, I am using Riku, who does uh, really powerful breaks. Her breaks are 80%, which is not that big a deal, over 75%, but but it, it, it still is a pretty decent damage reduction, over 75% breaks. And I'm using a bunch of Mirage with Riku, too, which helps. Uh, I think the only breaker on Global that can do Mirage is Lock, currently. And as you see, as the boss goes below 50%, he, he does get harder. He's doing a double AoE here. My Fina's not quite as geared as Keese's, so it's uh, taking more damage. So the boss did a buff. We're not dispelled yet, are we? I think we got. I think we did get dispelled. Yeah, we got dispelled. We lost them. We don't have any buffs. Oh, we got dispelled. Okay, um, so we got the spell, which means we have to get mitigation. That's got to go up. I definitely want cover. That's got to go up. Uh, if we got the spell, that means I need stop immunity. We're going to stop immunity with Riku. Uh, we lost all our buffs. I'm going to go ahead and do a stat buff. And I'm going to use um, that AoE cooldown, which heals and re-raises. We're probably not going to die, but, you know, it's good, to, it's good to have it. And then we'll just quadcast Dark. Alright, so there's the stop and the mana drain. Oh! Dark Fina. Your mana is all gone. Are we allowed to use items for the missions out of curiosity? Yeah, we are. I'll go ahead and give her a hurry booster. Alright. Um The boss buffed himself. I wanna get rid of that. Let's go ahead and dispel that buff with Fina. Or not Fina, what's your name? Charlotte. Uh oh Riku, your limit's not ready. Really? Is your cooldown ready? Your cooldown is ready, but I'm gonna I'm gonna use your limit instead. Let's go ahead and Shining Cheer and Mana Regen. That'll fill up Riku's limit for the break. Uh, Warrior of Light, you're gonna Elixir to Dark Fina. But she is just using all the mana. It's getting drained. Oh, I didn't imperil the boss is resisting. Whoops. I'll fix that in a second. Oh, nope, nope, stop that. Uh, Charlotte should be fine here. Yeah, she's got a really good spirit. No problem. Alright, um... Let's go ahead and physical mitigate Warrior of Light. Fina will heal. And let's re-raise on Charlotte. She's got a big hit. Let's do stop immunity with Riku. Um, we still have podcast. We do... Charlotte, what are we going to do with you? Um, oh, oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. The boss buffed himself. I got to dispel that. And I already used my brakes. Oh. Oh, this is not good. Whoops. I did not notice he buffed himself. That's got to be dispelled and reapplied brakes. And I already did my action with all the units. Um... So the only option, yeah, Charlotte can't break attack. Neither can Fina's. So I can either dispel the buff. Okay, let me think. The buff is 100%. So 100% buff with passives. 
or 80% break with passives. I guess it's better to remove the buff and have no breaks at all. Well... Huh. Which of these... is the magic break? Let me look. Okay, um, this was a big mistake turn. We're going to dispel the boss, and we're going to... That's not even the magic break. So we have no breaks at all on the boss. Yeah, whatever. This was a huge mistake turn. He has no break. Let's hope he doesn't use the magic attack. And we hope we dodge it all. Alright. Just don't meteor, and... Oh, that hurts. And that hurts. And that hurts. <laughs> wow. Hey! We survived the turn with no breaks at all on the boss. No problem. No problem. That was easy. Alright. Um, let's reapply mitigation. Wow, that was, that was rough. Alright, let's... Uh... Let's do a stat buff and a shiny cheer. Warrior of Light's gonna do physical cover. We're not gonna heal Warrior of Light. Don't really need it. The boss is broken. Oh, he's not broken. That's right. I dispelled him. Duh. Break the boss and let's mirage. Okay. We lost our cooldown with Fina because we're bad. So that's okay. Let's stack back up. Uh, we don't have stop immunity currently, so if he uses stop this turn, we're really in trouble. And Warrior of Light, like, almost dead, but he should be fine. He's, he's real tanky. There's the Dispel. Okay. We got dispelled, so we need, um, we need stop immunity, uh, we need mitigation again, we need cover again, uh, technically, okay, that's fine, let's do a stat buff and a shining cheer, I think Warrior of Light will still be okay even though he's not getting really healed this turn. Alright. And let's go ahead and use our cooldown and go again. This is this is going messy. Because okay, so Warrior of Light's only at, ha at half health, which is... There's the mana drain. But he he's evading, it's fine. There's the attack on Charlotte that she's provoking. That's the reason you want passive provoke on your magic tank, because uh, that, that, like, that... Thunder Beam attack. It's actually non-elemental. It's not Thunder. It just looks like Thunder, but it's not elemental. And your magic tank provoking that is real helpful. Uh, okay. So, so we're good. We're, we're, we're back on track. Let's go ahead and physical mitigate. Let's magical mitigate. Um, we really need some mana for mana regen. So let's have Fina do Shining Shear and Manatopia. Uh, our Fina's are going to go back to Dark Casting. Our stack should be built back up again, so we're good here. Uh, Riku, the boss is broken. So we don't really need anything with Riku right now. Yeah, she's, she's pretty whatever. So we're just going to fill Limit and Mirage. I think I think we placed another threshold. We did. There's the there's the threshold in here, but it's fine. All right, the boss buff. What did he buff himself with? Oh, double meteor. Ah, we're okay. 
Uh, so we did defense and attack buff. Okay, so this time, this time I caught it. Were we dispelled? No, we're not dispelled. All right. Um, go ahead and dispel the boss with finger snap from Odin. Uh, break the boss again with limit. We're going to use a barrier with Warrior of Light. Fina is going to heal. Yeah. Alright, Fina's going to prime heal and keep Manatopia, keep using Manatopia because we're running out of mana. With these drains that keep. Oh, I didn't just imperil again! Dang it. I'll imperil next turn, it's fine. All right, who's gonna do an AOE that we can't cover? But it's it's we've got him, um, you know, broken real well. We've got all our buffs up. We're fine. And you see these AOEs that are hitting Warrior of Light that are ignoring evasion. Those are the ones I was talking about that ignore evasion. But as you can see, they don't really deal that much damage with a tank like you know about thousand defense or higher. You're fine. All right, I need to imperil, so we'll do that with Fina. Let's imperil and then triple. Uh, the boss is still broken. This should finish him off. Maybe, probably. Yeah, he's dead. Okay, so there we go. Sixteen turns. The uh, the missions on this boss are evoke two espers. I totally forgot to do that. Whoops. Use a limit burst. I did that. And thirty turns or less. So sixteen turns. We did it. Uh, yeah, I forgot to evoke two espers, but that's a super easy mission. Just evoke espers whenever the bar fills. I just forgot about it. There you go. Um, there was a clear. It was real messy because I missed the buff and had to go a turn with no breaks, and that was like a big disaster. But we recovered and got it. Uh, there's a preview of the Iron Giant fight. See you guys next time.